key ones that happened that really screwed the Cowboys. This holding of Micah Parsons is freaking ridiculous. Michael Parsons is being pulled backwards right in front of the officials, and they're not calling. This is like, remember, the Titans. The hands to the face that they threw a flag and then picked it up. It's freaking ridiculous. These calls are game-changing calls. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Philly! I hear it. I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you guys are doing well. We're hanging in there. I don't know how anybody can't be enjoying this Christmas Eve. It ain't no time, yo. Hell yeah. I'm enjoying it. I'm sitting back, relaxing, chilling. I'm enjoying watching the Dallas Cowboys lose again to the Miami Dolphins. This team can't win on the road. <laughs> I love it. Now, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And I just got to say, what a day. What a great day. I wasn't even going to do a video today. I'm just chilling out, sitting there. Uh, you know, sitting downstairs, watching TV, watching the game. You know, I watch the you know, game. It's funny because, you know, I watch these games. I'm always streaming. I'm always talking, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm sitting there. No stream going on. I'm just watching the game. And my wife's, like, talking to me. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just, uh-huh. I have no idea what the hell she said. She goes, do you know what I'm talking about? I said, yeah. She said, what? I said, I don't know. She goes, you're just, like, out of there in space. I'm like, I'm just watching the game. It's just so nice to sit and watch the game and not have to say anything, but just watch. And I watch I did. It was beautiful. It was magnificent. It was hilarious. Once again, it is Cowboys Choke season. Ain't no time, yo. It is. The Cowboys choked again. Every December, you know the Cowboys will collapse. They will choke. And that's what they did. And they just gifted us a beautiful, beautiful gift. <laughs> but they deserve it. They deserve this crap. Mark Holmes spent all week last week talking about the Eagles losing to Seattle Forgetting that his team just got their ass kicked by the Buffalo Bills. Totally got destroyed by the Buffalo Bills. He ignored it. He didn't even want to think about it. He didn't even care. It acted like it didn't happen. Way too arrogant. Way too cocky. And they deserved what they got. Now, I always make fun of Dallas when they lose. But I don't go overboard. You know, I'll do this video. I'll enjoy it. And then, boom, my focus is my birds. That's what I do. I'm not going to do 90 videos. Well, I guess that didn't age very well. Hello, good people. You know, there's an old saying out there. He who laughs, laughs, laughs the loudest and the longest. And maybe, maybe Philly 500 should have been a little more humble. And I know Eagle fans, being humble is not part of your M.O. You guys always have to be the loudest ones there. You know, Nick Sirianni is the guy who's always in your face and everything else. But I want to say thank you, Philadelphia Eagles, for re-gifting the NFC East for us. Now, it's still up to us to win it. But for the Dallas Cowboys, who weeks ago, the odds of the Cowboys winning the division were like, you know, 10% or something like that. When the Eagles were 10 and 1, they have not only lost, but they have literally collapsed. Losing to the Arizona Cardinals, losing to your former coordinator, losing the number two seed potentially 
to now have to go to Tampa Bay, possibly, where they're now saying, we don't think that you can win, has to be one of the most epic collapses. This is like the Steelers from a few years ago that I think started out 10-0 and and ended up just collapsing going down. I think there was a team, the Jets team, that was like that many, many years, like 30 years ago that started off, you know, great and ended up collapsing in the end. This is going to go into the annals of history with the tush push and all that, okay? But I just want to, I just want to enjoy this just for a little bit today because let's just go to a, just a little, just a little taste of how one week is different in the NFL because in one week you can go from the penthouse to the outhouse. Philly, take it away. God, they're such a stupid team. Stupid coaches. They're stupid. (laughs) They're stupid. I can't stand this coaching staff. I want them fired. Uh Oh, he's going, he's, he's getting closer to the edge. Nine. You take DeAndre Swift out of the game and you run two bullshit calls. Mm. Nick Sirianni sucks ass. <clears throat> oh, wow. It's just ridiculous. Oh, wow. Philly 500 melting down. So stupid. Every week, stupidity. <laughs> I'm so sick of the dumbness. How can you be any dumber? Oh. How can you take DeAndre Swift out? And then you run two plays like that. Oh. I mean, get down. You can't afford to kick field goals. You can't stop them on defense. You have to score touchdowns. You defense stinks. Oh, wow. Philly. It, it can suck my left ass ball. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <It's like> a... <coughs> Philly, no. Just, it's just stupid. Everything really know. about this team is stupid. It's like a self-inflicted wound after self-inflicted wound after self-inflicted wound. I am done with this bullshit. Oh, Philly. It was second and two. Now it's third and nine. You oh, can't Phil. stop shit. <laughs> oh, third and nine. Steve. They jumped off sides, ref. They jumped off sides. Oh, my Lord. That's a, on the Cardinals. That's on the Cardinals. Wow. <sighs> Toby said to him. Good game, the Philly. First clip, <clears throat> the first clip was Christmas. And that was one week later. I'm going to finish this up with. The Philly Joey Shakes Shakedown. And be ready. This is sad. The team is, I I mean, it's officially broken at this point. Nick's got no control over what's going on. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 that bad. I mean, uh, something has to be done now. I I, the players are, are 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 out the window, out the door. So. Yeah, Chris Kaufman uh, with the early uh, uh, super chat. Thank you so much. He goes, Devontae Smith isn't a walking boot. Hope the screen was worth it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going to talk about that that whole sequence. Uh, but uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you for that super chat. DB Cooper's here. Christian's here. Andrea's here. Um, MVP Nation. Uh, Upsers is here. Battle Mode. Uh, a lot of people in here. If I missed you, I apologize. Uh, Grunge Smurf here. Jameson Smith. Um, hey, listen, congratulations to Dallas Cowboys. Uh, you just won the division, and uh, you're the number two seed because this team this team can't get it done. I, I, I got to tell you, I have never in my life remember an Eagles collapse uh, to this level. This is like not collapse choking. This is choke. like epic collapse that will be in history books for years to come. Mm-hmm. This was... I mean, you were talking about a team that was ten and one, Joey, with mm. two two games up on first place. To now, you're the fifth seed. They're the fifth seed, and you know what it feels like? It feels like it feels like we're on death row. 
and our mm-hmm. executions in two weeks. Because I don't yeah. see how this team goes to Tampa Bay or goes to New Orleans and beats anybody. Uh, this team is – there's something fundamentally inside this organization that is wrong. Oh. Something happened. I, I think these players don't play – I mean, they don't. They come out, they look like they have no juice, man. No. They look like they're, they're, they're not up for the I, game. I, I don't know. It's just they're off. Everything is off. I don't think they believe in what the players believe in what they're doing for these coaches. And I don't know because it, it's excuse after excuse. I mean, I'm already seeing it after this game. It's all oh, we're still in the p- process and oh, it wasn't conservative play calling at the end of the game. And I mean, it's still the same lines over and over and you can't fix this in two weeks. I said, after that 49ers loss, what's the one thing you have? I said it in the stream. I said, you have time to fix things. Little things you have to fix with the offense. And, and, you know, we can go through the game because we really didn't have too many issues with the offense until really the end of the game because the offense didn't really have the ball that much. Time of possession was not on our side, obviously. So. Oh, they, they, they had the ball for like 40 minutes. <laughs> All right. 40 minutes of a 60-minute game. Yeah. The Eagles had the ball. Um, in the second quarter, they got the first possession they got was with less than right there. I think I've made my point in how things change in a week. But we appreciate the re-gifted present from you Eagles. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I want to say thank you. 